in 10 hours, Hurricane Dorian is going to make landfall right here. And for the last few days, people have been scrambling, getting ready, getting all the supplies they need for the power to go off, for everything to, to go through whatever they need to get through. Made me think, when the hurricane's about to hit in your personal life, when you get involved with that person, you know you shouldn't be getting involved with it. it's that same type of person again. It's when you get in to conflicts with that toxic person in the workplace when you come up with that family member that pushes all your buttons how much preparation do you really do in my experience and in working with clients what I found is that instead of preparing caring for uh, the hurricanes that are about to hit in their personal life, what people tend to do is they get rid of resources, they throw away the things that could build them up, that could make them more resilient. They spend loads of time in their heads worrying about this or getting into all sorts of little head games. People that I've worked with, everyone I've shown how to shut off that, that monkey mind, that head chatter, are absolutely shocked to discover that they can even do that they've always thought that's the way it is that's the way they are and some people think that that voice in your head is who they are it's not uh, and yet what we do is we let that sabotage us over and over and over again with the um, other things that take away your resilience what we tend to do is we uh, when these people these toxic people these people we know we shouldn't be getting involved with because we look back in our history and the same sort of crack has happened over again instead of building up supplies instead of building resilience we either are beating ourselves up in our heads or we are g going through all these scenarios of all the worst that's going to happen because of the past instead the resilience comes from making the time to be able to still that head chatter from being able to step away from this to to be build your body's resources because every time you stress yourself not just when something happens out there but every time you're running through it in your head your brain doesn't know the difference and you're poisoning your body with 1400 chemical and 30 hormonal changes over and over and over again taking away your ability to deal with what's what's coming up i spent a few years working with the red cross and one of the big things that they deal with in disaster management is how do you grow the resilience of a community so that you know the fact is stuff's going to happen disasters are going to happen but what's your resilience to be able to spring back to be able to respond so that's what they really focus on doing how do you grow the resilience of a community how do you grow your resilience how do you build your ability to spring back when things happen instead of beating yourself down now, if you're interested in finding out about how to shut down that head chatter, just go to metia.com, M-E-H, the number two, Y-E-A-H.com, and there's a, a free download on the, of the three major causes of self-sabotage, and that's going to lead you into a free resource to be able to do just that. And if you, that's one thing that you can do, it'll make a massive difference in your life.